Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be covering Luma Booth. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up an event on Luma Booth by just using your phone. That's one thing I love about Luma Booth is that you don't need a laptop, you don't need an iPad to set up the event. You can simply just do it using your iPhone device. So let's go ahead and get that started. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to use the iPad sharing station with Luma Booth. I'm this close to getting tongue twisted, but so far I'm killing it. Yeah. Another thing I wanna tell you guys is Luma Booth is now offering 1080p. So this is definitely gonna hurt some other competitors, some big competitors that you and I both know. I won't be saying any names because I'm a business now and I gotta be careful. So let's go ahead and dive into the video right now. All right. By the way, if you guys are interested in using Luma Booth because it's extremely affordable and they are offering now 1080p plus the cool speed ramps when it comes to those dope effects, the description is in the box below. The description is in the box below. No, the link is in the description in the box below. Yo, let's go. Let's go ahead and jump into the Luma Booth app. I'm gonna go ahead and select this application right over here, and then we're gonna create a new event together. Let's go ahead and click new event. And then my event name is going to be just uh, 360, just like that. And then I'm gonna to go to customize settings. I'm gonna to try to go as fast as possible, but remember guys, you can always circle back to this video. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to print layout right here. And I'm going to continue with capture mode right here. And then this is an important part for us, guys, as 360 booth operators. We want to make sure that we only select the Boomerang 360 as 360 booth operators, okay? So let's go ahead and go to capture settings next right down here. Okay. And here we are. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to scroll down all the way to the section where it says, Boomerang 360. For my countdown, I'll leave it at five seconds. The quality, I want the best quality possible. So I'm going to go ahead and swipe it to the right. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get the quality at eight megabytes per second. Now the size, this is going to depend on you. But for me, guys, I like going with 1920 by 1080 right there. Once again, I like going with 1920 by 1080, that's the closest dimensions you're gonna get to Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, YouTube Reels, and that kind of vertical display. Now I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. A really cool update that Luma Booth just um, just went through includes new, these new presets right here. So this is all slow mo. This is fast and slow mo. This is fast slow mo fast, and then of course you have another variation right here. So far, the one that I've enjoyed the most is this last variation right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this. This means that the first portion of the video is gonna be sped up and then it's gonna be slow down, sped up again and slow down. And I love these speed ramps. These speed ramps are awesome. It's gonna give me a total of 18 seconds of recording time. I'm gonna scroll down. Oh, by the way, guys, check this out right up here where it says blink flash while recording with camera. This is dope. The flash on the phone will blink to let the individuals on the platform know that it's recording. And once it stops blinking completely, that means the recording session is over. So this is brand new. I'm, I'm liking it. So I'm definitely going to check this right here. So I know that it's actually recording as the camera rotates and I can see the flash blinking. And I'm going to go down here. You can select reverse if you want. That way it creates that reverse. The other, um, So it adds more time to the video, makes it a little longer. I'm going to leave that checked on there. Now, if you scroll down right here, you can still customize it by the clip duration and clip speed. But for the sake of this video, to simplify things, I'm going to go ahead and just run with these right here so that we can get this video on away. And then after that, you guys can go in there and experiment yourselves. But we're going to go ahead and test this video in a few moments, all right? We're going to test these settings out. Max supported F frames per second, back camera 240 frames per second, which is great. And now if you want to add a soundtrack, an animated overlay, an image overlay, this is what you, where you would do it. For me, I'm going to keep it simple and I'm just going to add an image overlay. So I'm going to go here to choose and then I'm going to go to browse. I know it's on my iPhone somewhere, somewhere in here. There it is. I'm going to select this one right here. This is one of my upcoming events I have. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. The measurements of this overlay, of course, are 1080 by 1920. All right, so that's in there. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit until I get to the back removal section right down here. I'm going to click on that. So that was it for the 360 booth video. Now for the background removal, we're not going to mess with that. We're just going to continue moving forward, hitting the effects 
down here and then we're gonna hit the stickers down here again. We're just gonna move forward and go to the camera settings. The camera settings are where we wanna spend a little bit of time. We're gonna go ahead and scroll down to the camera settings and at the very bottom where it says advanced, we're gonna make sure that it's under back wide angle. That's what I like using because when I use back ultra wide, it doesn't look as sharp and clear and the, the light sensor just doesn't pick up so much information and it looks a bit depixelated. So from my experience, guys, I always go with the back wide angle, not the ultra wide. OK, so you guys can experiment on your own and find your sweet spot. Now, for video stabilization, you can leave it at standard or high. When you leave it at high, there's going to be a little bit of a delay. There's somewhat of a latency when you're moving here and it's actually capturing it here because it's processing information to make sure that it doesn't come out too shaky. So you can leave it on high or standard. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on standard. But if you feel like, man, these videos look a little too shaky, you can always switch it to, give me one second. You can always switch it to high, right? But like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in standard for now. Now, as far as the zoom, I'm going to leave it here as default, and I'm going to move forward with the print setup here. But before I do that, let's go up here, the video boomerang right here on the right side. All right, sweet. Now we um, can see that these are the actual settings. This is great. Everything is really on auto, and that's totally fine. Now we're going to proceed to the next step down here, print setup. This stuff right here, I don't really mess with because I'm not sending anything to a printer. I'm sending everything through the actual device or using the iPad sharing station, which is something I'm gonna be covering with you guys on this video. So let's go ahead and move forward with email SMS right down here. So you can send emails from your uh, sharing device and you can also send text messages and you can airdrop. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck Instagram because the attendees can actually do that on their own once they acquired that video. So let's go ahead and move over to sharing settings. I'm gonna leave everything checked except Twitter. I'm gonna uncheck Twitter right here and I'm gonna continue scrolling down for the timeout sharing screen. I'll just leave it as is by default 30 seconds and allow to have a retake button that's gonna come in handy. So we'll leave this on as well. On, on, retake, next window here. Uh, we're making good time guys. Virtual uh, attendant, we're gonna go to survey. We're gonna leave that checked off. Go ahead and move forward. We're going to leave this checked off for survey as well. Move forward with that. Disclaimer, I'm going to leave that off as well. And then I'm going to go to launch event. Now, here we are. And I'm going to go ahead and, and, and record. All right, so right now I am recording and I am able to see the flash on the phone flash. And that's indicating that the phone is recording. Like I said, Luma Booth is super dope when it comes to these speed ramps because you can have fast forward, slow down, normal speed, all within the same take. And that's something I really enjoy about Luma Booth. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at my iPad sharing station. The application is called Luma Share. That's what you want to use to, along with Luma Booth. I'm going to go ahead and continue to stay on my Luma Booth app. My device here, along with my iPad, are both connected to this mobile hotspot right here. So let's go ahead and select LumaShare. And whatever devices are connected, they're, they're gonna populate right here. So my device is called 360Biz right there. And that's the video I took earlier. And this is the video we shot together. Let me go ahead and, uh, so that's me right there. Cool. Um, now, you, these are the options you guys have. The most popular ones, of course, are AirDrop and Scan QR Code. So if I'm gonna do the AirDrop, which is the fastest for anyone who has an iPhone at your event, just go to AirDrop, make sure that their AirDrop is turned on to accept AirDrops from everyone. In this case, I'm gonna use my device right here. And it should, um, there it is, transferred to my phone. It only takes two seconds. That's what I love about AirDrop. And that's exactly how you guys will use the iPad sharing station using the application called LumaShare right there. So I hope this video helps. If you guys are interested in saving a bunch of money by using Luma Booth, let's go ahead and check out the expenses here and see exactly how much it costs. So it costs $7.99 for the Luma Share, which is the iPad sharing station application aspect that you're going to need. And for the Luma Booth, I'm only paying $19.99, and this is every single month. 
Guys, this is a great deal in comparison to other apps that are a lot more expensive. And like I said, Luma Booth is now offering 1080p. So it's definitely a huge win for us 360 Booth operators. It allows us to make more money per event. So yeah, the link is going to be in the description box below. Enjoy Luma Booth. I'll see you guys in the next video.